the Dragon Ball Z dub versus the Dragon Ball Z Kai dub. Now, before I even get into this, I want to make it clear I am not saying it is more enjoyable. What what you enjoy is what you enjoy. You enjoy the Funimation 90 dub more. Good. Go watch it all you want. I don't care. But as a dub, I will explain why it is better. Now, <clears throat> First of all, if you are not going to respect the original material, this, this video is not for you, so just leave. But, the Dragon Ball Kai dub by Funimation, I will link Geek Dunn's interview with Christopher Snabbit in, down below. Christopher Snabbit himself openly admits to it that that original, Kai, that original dub of Dragon Ball wasn't accurate. They made Goku in this, like, superhero noble figure with... He isn't. Just go read the manga. Goku is actually a selfish, a selfish asshole, to be completely honest. He really is. He's a terrible person in the manga. Well, I don't think he's a terrible person, but he's an ass, alright? I'm, I'm gonna be blunt. He's an asshole in the manga. He really is. Just go read it. But, so what you have to realize that in the manga and the Japanese version of the anime, Goku is a completely different character and the story itself is very different. In the 90s, when Funimation brought it over, I believe at the time they were run by Saban. I could be wrong. Yeah, I think Saban was in charge. And if you know anything about a Super Sentai, you will know that Super Sentai, well, uh, Power Ranger was adapted from. And I, when I've been doing my research about Saban, I found out that Power Ranger did another case of Saban's Americanization. Yeah, that is... So, they, they didn't do it as heavily, obviously, as the Yoga Power Ranger. That would... Uh, do your do, do your research on that, and just compare the two changes. That is way worse. But, they did do it almost on the same scale with, that they did with Super Sentai, which... They took something from Japan, and they Americanized the hell out of it. That's what they did with Goku. They even went as far as in the Ocean dub, they labeled Goku Dad Bardock as... A brilliant scientist, when in reality, in the manga and the Japanese version, you know what Bardock is to the father of Goku special? A ruthless freaking killer, like every other Saiyan. They also say Saiyan and not Saiyan, or Saiyajin, I'm not really sure why. Well, I get why they would say Saiyajin, because the Jin means people of, but why they say... Saiyan instead of Saiyan, especially in Kai, I don't understand, but whatever. The point is, in Kai, I mean, in the original version, I mean, they Americanized it tremendously. And also, you have to realize, when these guys started doing the, like, John Stamble, Christopher Savage, all these guys, they weren't very good. Do not you dare tell me some of these quotes were better in the original version. Uh, because that's damn wrong. Christopher Stavis himself has admitted that, that he thinks that other dub is better. He said it. But, uh, they also would add in lines. Like, there was like this thing in the 90s, apparently. People couldn't be quiet. Uh, you couldn't have, like, there would be scenes in the Japanese version that were so good just because it's silent. It's just Goku, and like when Goku would sell fight. When Goku and Cell fight in the Japanese version, there were a couple scenes when they just stare each other down. They just stare, and in Kai too, they just stare each other down. No background music, no Bruce Falconer score, nothing. Now, I understand that, you, that people love Bruce Falconer music, and it's good. It really is. Like, whether or not it's good for Dragon Ball is a whole other video, but the Japanese music, the music, it's good. Like, the Japanese. Virgin got very popular without the Falconer core. So don't you tell me the reason it blew up with the Falconer core. But that's a little bullshit. I'm going to be blunt here. That's a little... Uh, I hate that. You would... I get infuriated when I hear that. Dude, that's not true. The Falconer core is only here in the U.S. I am... As you can tell, I'm very passionate about this. But what I really want to get across in this video... Is that they changed the series and they Americanized it in the original 90s Funimation dub. Now, 
I like to point out that way back, but when they went back and did Kai, they they were much more experienced in dubbing anime. They were giving grip by Toei, like proper grip, like. They were given actual information because when they were doing the 90 dub, they kind of just threw a ton of taste at them and then dubbed it. Yeah, they weren't given any real translations or anything. So you have to understand that much. But so what they, what they did with Kai was they went back in and they were like, screw the American audience. We are making a dub for the hardcore fans that want it to be accurate to the Japanese version. We we're going to make it as po close to the original as possible. The only changes that were made were changes that needed to be made for lift flaps. Because they couldn't have the lifts moving a certain way. But, so, uh, I want to make it clear that the Kai dub is better. It's a better dub because the profit of a dub, what a dub is, is when you take something and you change the language so people can understand it. Alright, uh, so, the, then, then the, uh, 90s Funimation dub was less accurate to the Japanese version, and Kai is more accurate. According to the definition of the dub, that, that makes Kai better, if you understand what a dub is. But I want to make it clear that if you like the 90s version more, that's fine, but when you tell me, like, Goku... The reason Goku threw the fight with Frost was because in the dub he said this. I'm like, so because you because in some inaccurate, uh, bad, tr badly translated dub, you expect me to take you seriously in argument? Well, guess what? I'm not going to. Be that's not what I said. The Japanese version, and you also now don't have that excuse. Oh, I don't read subtitles around like the Japanese version. Well then, there's this neat thing called Kai. Oh, and you don't like who is who is it? Is it God? De Stephanie Nozone, no, no, don't you ever name it? I don't even remember her damn name. But is that your problem with it? Well, that's ridiculous. Because guess what? She's better. It's a better voice actor. I so as a product, as like how well it was done, the job they did. Kai is better. If you prefer the 90s Funimation version, that is fine. But Kai is also remastered. Like, I, it's not, I don't know if Kai is as good as the Dragon Bosses. I'm not sure which is better. But it's around the quality of the Dragon Bosses with a new dub. And it utilizes the Japanese score, and I prefer the Japanese score. So that's good for me. But that's of course an, an, an opinion. But if you feel that passionately about your precious Lord and Savior your Bruce Falk Corner, you can always go in and edit it yourself. You know, make your own version of the series with the Falk Corner score in place of the uh, music. But, and also Bruce Falk Corner is not working with Funimation anymore. So if you have a problem with him not doing the score for super well stuff for you because he's not going to do it. No matter how much you cry and beg for it. There's, Bruce Falconer does not work with Funimation anymore. So there's no chance, even if they get the rights to Super. But guys, I want to make it clear one last time, what you enjoy is not what this video is about, it's about what dub is better. The Kai dub is superior to the 90s dub, but I'm not saying you can't like the 90s dub. You like it? Go like it. I actually also prefer the 90s dub. I think the 90s dub, I want that for nostalgia. I don't want Kai. But, of course, when I want to get accurate information and I don't want to watch it in sub, then I don't feel like reading, like right now, <clears throat> I go and I watch it in Kai. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation, signing out. Have a great day, and yeah.